For many people, how the lens produces a shallow depth of field for bokeh pictures is really important. But there are going to be times when you want as much of your images to be as sharp as possible. Like, for example, when you're taking landscape pictures. Now, the natural thing to do would be to focus on the horizon so that the distant objects are sharp. But if you did that, you'd be wasting a large amount of your depth of field. And that's because the depth of field extends from in front of the subject to behind the subject at approximately one third in front and two thirds behind. So if you focused on the most distant object, you would be losing two thirds of the depth of field to beyond the horizon. This is where hyperfocal distance comes into play. The hyperfocal distance is the focal distance at which depth of field is maximized for a given aperture and focal length combination. In other words, it's where you focus the camera to get the most of your image acceptably sharp. Now there's an equation for this which will give you the precise measurements. It's a bit daunting and it makes hyperfocal distance seem very complicated. I have included it in the resource notes with a full explanation if you really want to take a look. However, it's far easier to work from a chart like this one. Full frame cameras and crop frame cameras act differently and so have different hyperfocal measurements. Now do remember that we're working with actual focal length of the lens here not the effective focal lengths on crop frame cameras. So, for example, if we have an APS-C or crop frame camera and a 20mm lens at f16, then the hyperfocal distance will be 4.4 feet, or just over 1.3 meters. Now, this is the distance of the plane of focus, and so that means that everything from half that distance, 2.2 feet or 65 centimeters, to infinity will be sharp. Obviously, if you just focus on the farthest point, the depth of field in the foreground would not extend that close to the camera. So if you want to shoot landscapes or any pictures that need a wide depth of field, then knowing the hyperfocal distance is really important.